When you look around, there aren't a lot of retail. It's not like downtown where you can drop in. There's tons of commuters here all the time. So I think it'd be cool if they had something like this. I think it's kind of cool that this is in my neighborhood and it's something quick that I can just run to. I think it's what our community needs. What should we build longer term that the community really wants? How do you blend arts, music, and culture? This is going to have an impact for generations. This is the beginning of the transformation of the Grosvenor Metro Station area from a parking lot to a place. Metro stations are a scarce resource, and they're absolutely critical to having smart growth for our entire region. My name is Robert Majeski, also known as Mojo. I love building sculpture. I like abstract. I like kinetic. I like color. Sculpture that gets in my head and won't leave and has to be rebuilt. Bottom line. That is Robert Mojo. It started uh, late February with a, a great idea. Uh, Metro was decommissioning part of their fleet. We wanted to reuse one of those cars in, in our project. And so, so we picked out car 4089. That's our car. Robert Mojo is cutting up the rail car into seven different kiosks. The pieces are going to go to the Grosvenor Strathmore Metro Station to be placed on the plaza for the retail pilot project. The fact that it's activating that space, it gives people a sense of what's going to be there in the future. Right now, there's just a parking lot, a surface parking lot at the metro station and a parking garage. There's no arts there. One of the goals we have for the pop-up project is to actually give people a sense of place. You have this very disparate community. A lot of housing, high rises here. You can see these high rises in the background. And what we're hoping is we find a way to connect all of those people. We live more and more isolated lives. What you need are central gathering places that pull people together to say, I'll meet you at Strathmore Square before we ride the metro together. Well, a sense of place is what you experience, you know, at the ground level. Um, it's a sense of community. It's a sense of there being something lively and attractive. I mean, the opposite is when you go to many developments and you walk out and it's just a sea of parking with big buildings. That's not what we're trying to create. The best communities are built around the natural resources a place has. This is Rock Creek Park. This is trees. So we want to create the central park for this area. We don't want to just pop in something that you know, wouldn't relate to people who are here, the way people uh, enjoy these communities. And it was so obvious, right? Here's Strathmore, right here. So we started thinking, how do we bring them into this? And when he came to talk to us, he came with the vision of not just, you know, briefly memorializing, but actually building into the DNA of this new site an activity level that draws people, draws community, to create a real presence of Strathmore at that station. So when we think about that, we imagine that at the ground floor of buildings, as you come out into this public plaza, there would be spaces for music, for education. You know, you'd really feel like when you come out of this metro, you are really at Strathmore and Strathmore Square. And we drew up a plan which will include, we hope, certain education spaces where as a commuter you can see people singing and dancing and doing the art thing as you transit through. So I'm hoping that it'll actually give more of a reason to people to pause and to enjoy their trip, not just endure their trip. In order to manage growth in a community, you actually have to concentrate 
the additional building that you make at transit-oriented sites. We're right at a metro. The only thing you can be sure, if somebody lives here, it's because they want to be riding the metro. They have other choices. If you build the same density a mile away, you assure you have one mile's worth of traffic coming to park here. Metro stations are a scarce resource, and we have to take advantage of each and every one of them are very special. This is one of the last opportunities in our lifetime on the Red Line and in Montgomery County to develop transit-oriented development. And truthfully, this is where you want to have higher density. But we believe that with higher density, you have to do it in a sensitive way that also creates place. And listening to the community, we heard that, you know, how can we do something today? The great thing about the retail pop-up pilot project is it gives us an, a chance to test what uh, the local citizens and the users of the metro station want and what they like. I just think it's incredibly creative, it's fun, it's innovative, and so to have something a little bit more artistic and reflective of specifically the Grosvenor Strathmore station is fantastic. As a small business owner, I started my journey in Montgomery County. So, you know, being a small business in Montgomery County, um, I think it's an integral part of the county itself. I love being a small business. I love working for small businesses, supporting them. And we're just as excited as everybody else to see what's going to come of them. pop-up was a way of saying you don't have to wait years and years for these things to happen. Also a way of saying good faith, we're completely serious about placemaking. We don't just build buildings and that's what this pop-up is, just one little way of showing some of the imagination and creativity we hope to bring to this. 